thank you, Dennis. And uh, now is uh, my pleasure to invite uh, the CRD of uh, Kenyan uh, diaspora. Uh, she will introduce herself. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, the Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Musalia Mudavadi, Her Excellency, Mrs. Musalia Mudavadi, His Excellency, our Palosi, fellow Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Beatrice Chelimu. Uh, I come from Elkeo Marakwet, a place called Chiapulpai, very far. So I'm the chairperson of Kenyans in Latin America. We have so many countries from Brazil all the way to Panama, to Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, the whole countries in Latin America. So, and we are around 200 Kenyans in Latin America. And most of them we are dispersed within different regions. Some people live inside, in the interior sites of uh, different countries. But most of, most of the Kenyans live here in Brazil, which we are around 90 or more. Those are the numbers we know, but there can be more. So, and out of the 200 Kenyans here in South America, which we, we just give an assumption of a number of around 200, but we believe there are more that we do not know. The problem has been the problem of the e-passports. Out of the 200 Kenyans, we believe that half of that number, they do not have the new generational passports, which becomes very difficult. Why? Because most of the most of the people who are here, if you find people who are business people like me, small business owners like me, it's very difficult to make a lot of money to just pay for a ticket to go back to Kenya, to go get a passport and come back to Brazil. That's a lot of money. Most of the people, they don't afford it. Most of the people here, they're just small business owners. Their money is lead to what they can make. is just something that can sustain their own families. And apart from the issue of money, it's the issue also of documentation. If you don't have a document and I leave the country, I might not be allowed to come back to the country. So I end up suffering here knowing that I cannot go back home to get a document because I don't have the documentation, the proper documentation in Brazil or in the other countries in Latin America. So that has been a very great challenge and it has been something that has been worrying the Kenyans a lot and most of the time they keep pestering us as the community, what are you guys doing, are you in touch with the embassy, are you in touch with the new government and it has been so difficult. But with that, we really thank God and we really congratulate your appointment as the Prime Cabinet Secretary and also the appointment of the President of the Republic of Kenya, the appointment of the Office of the Diaspora Affairs, because we believe that right now our affairs can be tackled with. We also want to congratulate our um, Pelosi, and I will say this confidently, because this is the first time that we're having a government that can listen to us. I'm not ashamed to say that. It's the Pelosi who gave us the ears and heard our cry. And I'm really grateful, I'm honored to have an ambassador like Mr. Lemaron Kaondo. I'm so grateful for that. And so th that is uh, the issue of the passport is so difficult for the Kenyans. And also the issue of uh, documentations, other documentations like the, um, the ID cards. We are really having a problem with ID cards because some people lost their ID cards and they cannot be able to regain it back. So the, the issue is, is there a way possible that the government of Kenya can help the Kenyans in Latin America? At least we get our documents here without us having to go all the way to Kenya to get the documentation. Because if that is possible, we would really love to have it here. It will be our great pleasure as Kenyans. It will be our great pleasure. So with that, I would just want to say thank you for coming. We are honored to have you, feel honored, and we are grateful. We are praying for you, we are praying for the government, and we know that all shall be well. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank
Thank you, Chair Reddy. I think uh, uh, Your Excellency, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. And I, I think uh, uh, I can assure the Chair Reddy that uh, since the government has heard from you, the horse's mouth, I'm sure something will be done. But uh, it's not for me to say. Uh, I think uh, I will leave it to the, 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 the president's representative to, uh, to, to guide us on that. Uh, Kaide, Your Excellency, kindly allow me to invite uh, His Excellency Ambassador Lemaron Kanto to make uh, his remarks and thereafter invite you. Thank you, Mr. Kibwe. I know Mr. Kibwe always sets me up so that I speak just before dinner, so I can be able to see in your faces that you are starting to look at the other direction. Uh, your Excellency, um, uh, Dr. Msalia Mdavadi, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Your Excellency, Madam Tisi, fellow colleagues at uh, Kenya Embassy, the Chair of the Diaspora, together with the leadership and other members, together with the families of our colleagues, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> On behalf of myself and staff at the Kenya Mission in Brazil, it gives me pleasure and honor to welcome the Prime Cabinet Secretary and his delegation to Kenya House here in Brasilia this evening. Our mission is also honored tonight by your presence, which is of great significance to our country, by the virtue that the Prime Cabinet uh, Secretary is representing H.E. the President during the inauguration of uh, His Excellency, the uh, President uh, of Brazil, in a few hours to be. Uh, President uh, Lula Inacio da Silva, uh, which is going to take place tomorrow. As the head of mission, it gives me great confidence and assurance that bilateral will consider the friendly gesture in relations uh, between the two states, Brazil, and I think going forward, forward it can only be better. Uh, despite the tiresome flight you endured, you endured, Your Excellency, it is not lost on us and the Brazilian that you are so far the highest ranking Kenya government representative to have made a, an official visit to Brazil in recent years. Please let's give a round of applause to the Prime Cabinet Secretary. Your Excellency, secondly, allow me to thank the members of our diaspora community, of course uh, led by the EBO Chair, who have traveled far and wide. And Your Excellency, you cannot believe because they did not know they were coming to join us to welcome you. And I think they traveled yesterday, I'm told, all the way. Uh, the chair from uh, Sao Paulo and Dennis uh, from, uh, from Rio. So they traveled the whole of yesterday and they arrived this morning. And I think they were just busy up to. Of course, and I invited them purposely to come and be with us to be able to welcome. Uh, Your Excellency. So once again, uh, a round of applause to our members of the diaspora. <laughs> Allow me to mention our government's uh, other foreign uh, policy, uh, because now in the House, of course, we have uh, members of diaspora. And uh, this morning, uh, His Excellency was able to talk to staff, and therefore uh, I'll just be able to uh, talk briefly. Uh, about the foreign policy uh, before I invite uh, His Excellency to be able to make a few remarks. And in passing uh, of the mission uh, strategic uh, objectives of uh, uh, promoting trade and investments, cooperation in education and enhancing uh, diaspora engagements, the mission has undertaken visits uh, to Sao Paulo with a view to lessening the voices and concerns of diaspora. And therefore, Your Excellency, when I arrived, I arrived at of uh, uh, the pandemic, the first thing that I did was a virtual meeting with all the diaspora, uh, just to be able to 
know each other uh, because we really uh, a, a big big and of course they were now wondering we have not seen uh, Barozi for a long time and through the grief fight they did hear that uh, there is a Barozi who came so I decided to come out of the woodwork to tell them that uh, let me confirm myself just like the way Mr. Kibui was saying so that they can Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. Hello. Dennis has been our, our very, very good ambassador. I don't know if he's really is competing with me. I think he will look at it. But in a very, very special way, because he's been our point man, just to be able to reach out to the students. And therefore, any time there's an announcement uh, for the scholarships, then he has graciously agreed that he's going to be able to lead and to guide the other students in terms of their application process. And therefore, Dennis, we say thank you very much for the work you continue to do uh, for us. Uh, just quick uh, facts uh, on our uh, Kenyan uh, diaspora. Uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs estimates that uh, we have uh, approximately 3 million uh, Kenyans living abroad. Of course, a majority of them in the US. But of course, uh, the Middle East is also coming up and uh, of challenging the traditional US dominance in terms of the uh, diaspora remittances uh, to, to Kenya. Uh, over 90% of the Kenyans uh, travel abroad, mainly for economic reasons, and Chair Lady has said even in terms of their committees, they have a, a, represent, they have a represent, re, representative for business and for students, and also uh, the religious uh, sector, because we have some of them who are coming here to Brazil uh, to be able to train, uh, uh, to, to be able to train in, in religious uh, matters. And therefore, uh, uh, through uh, the linkage with the uh, Diaspora Committee, we are looking forward to be able to register them uh, so that we have an, an organized and registered body that we are going to work with. Currently, they are reviewing their constitution so that we can be able to register it. And some of these concerns uh, we've been sharing, uh, and I'm uh, also happy to note that uh, the chair has taken note that already we have a, a diaspora. Uh, direct, directorate headed by a PS. So for the first time in the history, at least we have uh, somebody in the ministry who can be able to look at uh, some of these matters. And therefore, Your Excellency, allow me to end there because this is not my day. Of course, I was just invited to, uh, to welcome you, but I thought I should also say something. We are really proud uh, uh, with our team that we have here both in terms of uh, my staff. Uh, you did meet the, the team that is behind me. And uh, since you came all the way, uh, as we were waiting for you, they are the ones who have been behind organizing for your visit here. And of course, uh, uh, also the diaspora, you have already been able to see their commitment. It's not easy uh, if you invite members of diaspora and they are able to take a bus uh, since yesterday just to be here. So we don't take it lightly and uh, we are going to work even more closely so that we can be able to deliver the agenda of the government of Kenya. Uh, lastly, Your Excellency, I want to wish you and your family a uh, happy, uh, fruitful and prosperous uh, New Year 2023. And I wish now to take this opportunity uh, to, uh, uh, to invite Your Excellency to make your remarks and uh, we can be able to be upstanding and uh, welcome uh, Your Excellency. Thank you.
please be seated. Uh, thank you, sir. Just in case. It, uh, yeah, just in case. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency Ambassador Lemaron Kanto and uh, your entire team um, at our embassy in uh, Brazil, members of the diaspora who are here, um, and my wife Tessie, who has uh, joined me, distinguished family members. Good evening. Uh, today I'll be very brief because um, it would be good for us to enjoy some chakula uh, on the eve of uh, the new year uh, and more so at uh, the residence of the ambassador. So we will want to make sure that we don't ruin your appetite. But first of all, let me at the very outset say that uh, I and my wife have been very, very honored and delighted that uh, you have uh, given us all the courtesies that have made our visit here uh, very smooth. We thank you so much uh, from the day we touched, put our feet on the ground here up to today and even what follows. You have been exemplary and uh, we really want to acknowledge that. Thank you so much for, for that. Um, a number of issues have been raised, uh, and I'll come to them a little later. But the one thing that I want to uh, bring out is that we have a new government in place, uh, a government that has emerged from a democratic process. And um, I stand here to request you to really be proud of it because since 1963 when we got our independence uh, one thing that people tend to forget is that Kenya has religiously held its elections every five years. There may be challenges around those elections but we have always held those elections and we have had now uh, a situation where we have transited from the founding father of the nation and now to the fifth president uh, in a fairly smooth process. Our democracy has evolved and uh, in certain circumstances where people have been aggrieved uh, they have an avenue to express their concerns and to seek redress and that is the Supreme Court of Kenya especially when it comes to the presidential election and again the Supreme Court of Kenya has proven itself uh, as a mature and steady institution and it has made its decisions uh, with a lot of respect and if you just go by mere statistics, elections were about 300 petitions at various levels. And we have finished this election, um, to the best of my knowledge, maybe there were just about 30 petitions. So you can imagine a decline from about 300 petitions to just about 30 petitions across the board. So that tells you that the process has really evolved and we are now moving in the right direction. So I am here to represent our government, to represent Dr. William Ruto as our president at the inauguration of um, uh, uh, President Lula da Silva tomorrow and then we can start the long journey back. Uh, it's not, uh, I really respect you people, it's a long journey, <laughs> to be honest. But, but um, I want to commend you also, uh, Mr. Balozi and the team, 
that you are standing out very well for the country because um, uh, listening to you earlier in the day, uh, you have a very good uh, focus as a team to make sure that you can grow business and grow the relationship between Kenya and, uh, and uh, Brazil and indeed Latin America in totality. Uh, that has come out very, very strongly. Um, the focus, the presentation you gave uh, was very clear and we look forward to the delegation that you said is likely to be in shillings uh, in a year. And that can be done if we can tackle some of the concerns that the chair lady and uh, the other members have touched on here, make it much easier uh, for them to, to interact and feel stable where they are, they are residing and working, give them the convenience that is necessary for them to be able to visit when they wish to do so. And also uh, to make sure that we can max self twenties digitized. Uh, that is part of the target. So whatever is pending, we shall try and accelerate uh, so that that, that um, uh, can be achieved. And I want to commend you for coming all the way, uh, plus kilometers. And uh, to, to be able to, uh, the early day meters or you're doing long distance, you know they say I want to be Kipchoge Kano. For those who like, here we are. Uh, moving forward, let us be uh, going to witness uh, being inaugurated, has visited Kenya uh, before, during the time of uh, Mwai Kibaki. Um, uh, I, I, I remember uh, repeat that holds Brazil in high regard uh, to represent him uh, at this auspicious occasion. And I hope that at some time, um, uh, once we report back, uh, he may see it fit to make a state visit to this country uh, uh, sometime going forward. That would be very good to be able to, to, to grow the business and the opportunities that abound between the two, uh, the two countries. So, asante ni sana. Um, but before I sit, I think uh, I'll request that you all of toasting the prosperity of the two countries and to His Excellency President William Ruto as we usher in the new year to the President. Asante sana. And I also wish everybody here a prosperous and happy 2023. God bless you all. Thank you. Excellency, uh, guest, I uh, right back. Now we are going to uh, partake. Uh, we